Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back hunting down my favorite 60s slasher films. I've already filmed videos counting down my top favorite modern day slasher films, 90s slasher films, 80s slasher films, and 70s slasher films. But that leaves out what is actually a pretty important decade for slashers. The 60s brought us some really good slasher films, or what many people consider proto slasher films. But honestly, what's the difference? It's the age old debate, what makes a slasher? A slasher. To me, a proto slasher is a slasher film. Period. I don't see the significance of creating another subgenre for a subgenre of horror. People are stalked and killed in sometimes creative ways by a maniac. That pretty much sums up a slasher film for me. For this list, I've selected six slasher films from the 60s. Six. From the 60s. Admittedly, there are not as many slasher films from the 60s as there are from other decades, but these following six are definitely some of my favorites. Before I get into the countdown though, I do have to give one honorable mention, and that is to the film Blood Feast. I do not own it, which is why it's not included in this list, but if I did, you'd probably see it featured. And so, here they are, my top six favorite 60s slasher films. Coming in at number six is a movie that's featured in this horrorlicious pack, and the movie is Bloody Pit of Horror from 1965. Bloody Pit of Horror is about a photographer and a group of models who go to an old abandoned castle to shoot sexy covers for horror novels. However, they don't realize there is a maniac living inside of the castle who believes himself to be the reincarnated spirit of a 17th century executioner. And now, in an effort to protect his castle, the executioner uses torture devices to kill the models one by one in creative ways. It's sort of like a much campier version of Saw in the 60s. Coming in at number 5 is a 1969 movie from this cult horror collection pack. Night of Bloody Horror Night of Bloody Horror is sort of a meat cleaver movie about a former mental patient accused of murdering his own brother years prior who goes on a killing spree, hacking up his beautiful ex-lovers. This movie is bizarre, but ultimately it's a good time, and the kill scenes are pretty brutal, especially for the 60s. Coming in at number 4, is a slasher film from 1960. Not only that, it's considered to be the very first slasher film. It's Michael Powell's Peeping Tom. Peeping Tom predates Psycho, which was released later in the same year, making it indeed the very first slasher movie. This classic is about a guy who murders women and uses a video camera to film their last moments in an effort to capture their dying expressions. Who knows what the slasher film landscape would have been like if not for Peeping Tom. At number three is a movie I recently showed in a Rare Movies Not on DVD or Blu-ray video, 1969's Horror House, also known as The Haunted House of Horror. This one stars Frankie Avalon and Jill Hayworth and it's about a group of friends who decide to explore a supposedly haunted house. As each of the friends are picked off one by one by a killer with a knife, they realize that the legend may be true, and if not, one of them may in fact be the killer. This movie is a lot of fun, and while it was released in 1969, it definitely has more of an early 70s feel to it. But regardless, it's my number three favorite 60s slasher film. 
It's also worth mentioning that in a list of only six films, number three is sort of middle ground. You know, it's the top half, but it's the bottom of the top half. So it doesn't seem as impressive. However, if you look at it as my normal list of, say, top 30 or top 20, number three is pretty good. Coming in at number two is Francis Ford Coppola's horror classic, his first feature film from 1963, Dementia 13. Yes, the legendary director who brought us The Godfather films and Apocalypse Now, among others, debuted with a slasher film. Dementia 13 is definitely quite the complex film, but to summarize it as simply as possible, an axe-wielding maniac is loose in a castle. It obviously features axe murders, a mystery whodunit killer, and even a scene of a girl stripping down to her white underwear with gratuitous underwater shots of her swimming. Where else but in a slasher film do you get all of that? The setting and atmosphere alone in this one bumps this up to the number two spot. But it's not quite my number one, because I think that one is obvious. Because my number one favorite 60s slasher film is a movie I already mentioned in this video. Alfred Hitchcock's classic, Psycho. I'm sure everybody has seen Psycho or at least knows what Psycho is about. But I just have to say, Norman Bates is probably one of the greatest killers in cinema history. He's just so likable. I compared Leslie Vernon from Behind the Mask to Norman Bates in a past video, and I think that's definitely fitting. Both of them have these innocent, charming qualities. But then they literally get dressed to kill. Norman, as his mother and Leslie with that creepy-looking mask. Psycho also features what is probably the most famous slasher movie scene in history, that shower scene with Janet Leigh. I mean, it's even on the cover. Psycho is not only my favorite 60s slasher film, but it is one of my favorite slasher films overall, and one of my all-time favorite horror films. It's a masterpiece. So that's it guys, thanks for watching my top 6 favorite 60s slasher films. Have you seen any of these movies? If so, what do you think of them? Comment below and let me know.